This month in history, October. Hey Crash, today we'll be doing yet another episode of our This Month in History series. More specifically, today we'll be focusing on the month of October. Now this is a month I can work with. You put more effort into that stupid mayonnaise thing than you did for an actual dress-up event. What can I say? Mayonnaise holds a special place in my heart. Besides, this costume is kick-ass anyway. And I'm sure it's better than anything you could put together. Yeah, well, you'll just have to wait and see then, won't you? Wait, you're actually getting dressed up? Culture is taking part in something fun? <gasps> show me, show me, show me! What better time to show it off than on the date of Halloween itself? But... But... But that's ages away! Better get started then. October 1st. In 1962, Barbara Streisand signs her first recording contract with Columbia. In 1977, Brazilian soccer great Pelé retires with 1,281 goals in 1,363 games. October 2nd. In 2001, Scrubs, starring Zach Braff, premieres on NBC. In 2016, Kim Kardashian is robbed at gunpoint of $10 million worth of jewellery in her hotel in Paris. October 3rd. In 1945, Elvis Presley makes his first public appearance at the age of 10. In 1995, O.J. Simpson is found not guilty of the murder of Nicole Simpson and Ron Goldman in Los Angeles, California. October 4th. In 1537, the first complete English-language Bible, the Matthew Bible, is printed with translations by William Tyndale and Miles Coverdale. In 1539, King Henry VIII marries Anne of Cleves, his fourth wife. I'll make you my fourth wife. October 5th. In 1962, the Beatles released their first record, Love Me Do. In 2005, vampire novel Twilight by Stephanie Meyer is first published by Little Brown. October 6th. In 1939, Hitler announces plans to regulate the Jewish problem. In 2012, Paolo Gabriel, Pope Benedict XVI's butler, is found guilty of leaking confidential documents and is sentenced to 18 months imprisonment. October 7th. In 2001, the US invasion of Afghanistan starts with an air assault and covert operations on the ground. In 2016, Washington Post releases videotape of Donald Trump boasting of groping and kissing women without consent. Ah, good old Trump. October 8th. In 1971, John Lennon releases his mega hit, Imagine. In 2001, US President George W. Bush announces the establishment of the Office of Homeland Security. October 9th. In 1973, Elvis and Priscilla Presley divorce after six years. In 2006, North Korea allegedly tests its first nuclear device. October 10th! In 1899, African-American inventor Isaac R. Johnson patents the first bicycle frame. In 2008, Singapore becomes the first Asian country to slip into a recession since the credit crisis began. Growth has faltered as a result of less demand for exports, a reduction in tourism, and the end of the real estate boom. October 11th! In 1737, an earthquake kills 300,000 people and destroys half of Calcutta, India. In 2006, 30 Rock, starring Tina Fey, Alec Baldwin, and Tracy Morgan, debuts on NBC. October 12th! In 1915, Ford Motor Company under Henry Ford manufactures its one millionth Model T automobile. In 1999, the proclaimed six billionth living human in the world is born. October 13th. In 1884, Greenwich in London is established as the universal time meridian of longitude. In 2016, American singer-songwriter Bob Dylan is awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. October 14th! In 1933, Nazi Germany announces its withdrawal from the League of Nations. In 1986, the Nobel Peace Prize is awarded to Auschwitz survivor Eli Wiesel for his efforts to ensure the Holocaust was remembered. October 15th! In 1951, Mexican chemist Louis E. Miramonte synthesizes the first oral contraceptive. In 2000, Larry David's Curb Your Enthusiasm debuts on HBO. October 16th! In 1923, the Disney Brothers Cartoon Studio is founded. In 2004, Lionel Messi, age 17, makes his league debut for Barcelona against Espanyol. Oh, oh, okay! Let me jump in right here, Colty, to announce some of the wonderful people who were born during the month of October. American Idol Simon Cowell. 
Rapper Snoop Dogg. Smoke weed every day. Actor Zac Efron. I actually haven't seen a single movie of his since High School Musical. YouTube star and recently a uh, target of hate, I guess. Uh, PewDiePie! And now, let us bow our heads in remembrance for those who unfortunately left us this month. Apple co-founder Steve Jobs, who died because of his reliance on alternative medicine. The one true real Superman, Christopher Reeve. My god, he was handsome. NBA legend Wilt Chamberlain! I, I, uh... I have no idea who that is. Comedian and TV personality Steve Allen. Crash, I appreciate you not mentioning- Gandhi. I was this close to praising you. You know that? October 17! In 1888, Thomas Edison files a patent for the optical phonograph, the first movie. In 2012, Lance Armstrong loses a host of endorsements in the wake of his doping scandal. October 18th. In 1867, the US takes formal possession of Alaska from Russia, having paid $7.2 million. In 1922, the British Broadcasting Company, BBC, is founded. October 19th! In 2005, Saddam Hussein goes on trial in Baghdad for crimes against humanity. In 2015, US scientists from the University of California find evidence life on Earth may have begun 4.1 billion years ago, 300 million earlier than previously thought. October 20th. In 1864, US President Abraham Lincoln formally establishes Thanksgiving as a national holiday. In 1973, Queen Elizabeth II opens the Sydney Opera House. Did you know that the Opera House was designed using sliced oranges? Sorry to burst your bubble there, but that's just a stupid myth kids tell each other in the playground. The architect, Utson, was influenced in his designs by bird wings, the shape and form of clouds, shells, walnuts and palm trees. No sliced oranges in there, buddy. WHY DO YOU HAVE TO RUIN EVERYTHING?! October 21st. In 1950, the Chinese forced the occupation of Tibet. In 1975, Elton John is given a star in Hollywood. October 22nd. In 1879, Thomas Edison perfects carbonized cotton filament light bulb. In 1988, Elton John sells out Madison Square Garden for a record 26th time. October 23rd. In 1977, paleontologist Elso Barbun announces discovery of a 3.4 billion year old one-celled fossil, the earliest life form. In 1981, the US national debt hits $1 trillion. October 24th. In 1857, the world's first soccer club, Sheffield FC, is founded in Yorkshire, England. In 2008, Bloody Friday saw many of the world's stock exchanges experience the worst declines in their history, with drops of around 10% in most indices. Yeah, because I know what that means! October 25th. In 1995, singer Cliff Richard receives his knighthood from Queen Elizabeth II, the first rock star to be knighted. In 1968, Yoko Ono announces she is having John Lennon's baby. October 26th! In 1863, the Football Association forms in England, standardising soccer, splitting with rugby. In 1988, Donald Trump bills Mike Tyson $2 million for his four months advisory service. October 27th! In 1982, China announces its population has reached 1 billion plus people. In 1954, Walt Disney's first TV show, Disneyland, premieres on ABC. October 28th. In 1538, the first university in the New World, the Universidad Santo Tomas de Aquino, is established on Hispaniola. In 1904, St. Louis police try a new investigation method, fingerprints. October 29th. In 2004, Arabic news network Al Jazeera broadcasts an excerpt from a video of Osama bin Laden, in which he admits direct responsibility for the September 11, 2001 attacks. In 2015, China announces the end of their one-child policy after 35 years. October 30th! In 2003, Wicked premieres on Broadway at the Gershwin Theatre in New York City. In 2012, Walt Disney purchases Lucasfilm Limited and its rights for Star Wars and Indiana Jones for $4.05 billion. October 31st Halloween! In 1918, Spanish flu virus kills 21,000 in US in one week. In 2003, Bethany Hamilton, age 13, has her arm bitten off by a shark while surfing in Hawaii. So, uh, where's your costume, man? You said you would put it on when we got to Halloween. 
Actually, I think I said I'd show you on Halloween, didn't I? Is today Halloween crash? Now you motherfucker! Thank you all so much for watching this installment of This Month in History. We hope you enjoyed all of the random facts. 